movie a movie kind of approach so that okay. I, I I would I, if you can tell your name yeah. and your uh, background or your organization sure. and tell shortly for example just this that you have been doing so work, what working this is about you mean? yes yes sure. so, so just a short kind of I make right. a quick just tell me when so three two one So um, I'm Ed Makala, I'm the program chair of this conference and we are now in the conference poster session and uh, this poster session has been organized according to a sort of a computer science tradition uh, where there's a poster session because in a lot of humanities conferences you just put your poster on the wall and leave it there for the conference and interaction doesn't happen. So we wanted the poster session to be a big thing and uh, it should be working. is uh, a project which is a collaboration between research infrastructures in the humanities, okay. in particular Claire and Daria, but also a lot of other smaller projects. So, uh, and here we are working on the international relations that partners have, partners that are in partners have with other partners outside. So it's about like making them com communicate with each other and then trying to. Uh make use of these different uh, initiatives? Yes, uh, exactly. I, uh, we would like to see a better visibility mm -hmm. of this uh, international collaboration and what you can get out of international collaboration no. so that you can build something that's bigger than mm. yourself. I'm from University of Helsinki and uh, my project uh, is about um, identifying uh, poetry books from library metadata catalogs. My name is Leo Lahti and uh, I'm from University of Turku and I'm the Open Science Chair of this event. And uh, we have been aiming to promote open science which is the main theme of this conference this year by uh, raising awareness of the issues around open science. We are, for instance, organizing an open science workshop day on Friday. We are also uh, providing open science award for a paper uh, tonight. And also otherwise uh, we have been promoting this on the web website and in other ways. Finland has been digitizing the Finnish newspapers published in Finland for the last 20 years. And we have collected uh, so far 13 million pages of uh, newspapers and journals uh, in Swedish and Finnish, uh, in Finnish and Swedish mainly. And 7.36 million pages of those are available freely on the net and the rest can be approached in six legal deposit libraries in different places in Finland. Uh, in our poster we tell about the development and the research work related to the newspaper and uh, journal collection, what we have been doing in different funded projects during the last few years and what uh, we have also a few projects going on for the two 
years coming. And we have, for example, doing a Rio CR for the collection. We try to improve the uh, quality of the data. Then we have also been, we have been studying named entity recognition in the collection, and I have, we have actually achieved pretty good results recently. Okay. Hello, my name is Annika Rottenberger. I am uh, with the Digital Humanities in the Nordic Country Board and I have been uh, moderating and have been in charge of the poster slam that we had for the third time uh, this year. And uh, apart from that, I am and digital humanities activists. So I try to connect people and uh, get them to work together to share their ideas and uh, generally also have a good time finding out what is uh, going on everywhere in the world, but especially in the Nordic countries. Thank you. Hey, my name is uh, Mats Friedler. I'm a professor of history and industrialization at Aalto University and also a sort of emerging digital historian. And uh, yeah, so we're standing here at the, the conference, the poster session here, and it's quite interesting to walk around here, I think, because in a way, I, I wonder how much it sort of represents what digital humanities is about now, because what you see, is, at least what I'm, my, I'm noticing, is that there's a lot of posters on creating various kinds of databases and sort of creating digital source materials. And there are all, but there are also some also that are actually doing digital uh, research, which I find is the most interesting. Here. So, it, I mean, I'm, I must say, I'm sort of, Positively surprised, something we've seen now. It also started to emerge some uh, research actually using digital methods, also, and not just, which is of course good, also, not just sort of creating digital source, but still, I think it's a, it's a dominance of various kinds of projects on sort of creating digital source materials, like the Topelius uh, letters and so on and so forth. And, and uh, I'm sort of wondering if this is representing uh, how digital humanity is today. I think it probably does. I mean, I think it's probably a good representation of where the activities are happening in, in digital humanities, uh, not just in Finland, I think, but sort of uh, overall uh, in the Nordic countries and maybe even also beyond that. That's my question. It's interesting, it's interesting to see. And also it's interesting to see that many of what I think was the best uh, posters were actually by quite young researchers, I mean, PhD students, uh, several of them. So that also I think is a very promising sign to see. So that it seems like the interesting stuff is coming from the, the young researchers. That's uh, that's good, I think. I mean, maybe the older ones like uh, myself a little bit too. I mean, we maybe we haven't sort of really are on top of things here as much as the young ones, which I, that's a promising. That's what I see. Yeah.